Lincoln Red Rovers haven't won a district championship since the 1980s, while Emmaus has recorded a grand total of 37 in program history and 33 consecutive titles heading into last night's game. But there was hope for the Rovers as junior forward Jocelyn Morgan provided Easton with an early 1-0 edge. Just two minutes into the action, Morgan was assisted by senior Gabby Lanier, giving the Green Hornets a bit of a wake-up call. Despite a good effort, though, Easton's lead didn't last very long. As we approached the five-minute mark, Malia Weber, with the reverse stick, notched the first goal of the night for Emmaus, and that would actually mark Weber's 33rd goal of the year. But that wasn't all. Senior Rachel Herbine doubled down in the final seconds of the first quarter, giving Emmaus its first lead of the evening. The Hornets continued to dominate offensively in the second, scoring two more goals for a 4-1 lead at halftime. A credit to Easton, though, the team never gave up. In fact, Morgan scored two more goals before the final buzzer, both of which Lanier provided the assist for. But it was impossible to slow down the Emmaus front line. Herbine would score again in the second half as Emmaus claimed the 8-3 win over Easton, keeping the streak alive and awarding the Hornets their 34th consecutive district gold. Um, yeah, I was really happy. I think uh, Malia had a great play on the first one, and I think she set me up really nice. I think I got in a good position, and I um, got a good touch on it. Everyone puts in so much hard work, and I think we all play for each other, which makes me really happy, and we all just have a lot of fun together, and all the hard work we put in just means a lot in the end. On the other side of the field, Easton had plenty to celebrate as well. Of course, Jocelyn Morgan recorded a hat trick in this district final, and Easton actually became the first team in over two years to record three goals against the Green Hornets. I mean, I have to give like all credit to Gabby mostly. I mean, I would not have wanted an assist from anyone else. Like, she did so good. She was beating people on the sideline. We practiced it, and it was really special for us, I think. Even though we lost, like, it was a good accomplishment. Easton had a great game tonight. They're very physical, and they're always one of our best competition. I think um, we had a little bit of a defensive breakdown a couple of times, but I think we just have to improve for next game. From Whitehall, for the Service Electric Network, I'm Courtney DuPont.